It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the New York Jets. And it's all up next. It's a picturesque afternoon for football in the Northeast, and EA Sports comes to you from MetLife Stadium just across the Hudson River from New York City. The first month of the season has flown by. We are on to October, and we've got a captivating matchup in store as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, a lot of buzz here in the tri-state area about these Jets in 2023. Do you think that they are ready to challenge the Bills and the Dolphins for supremacy in the AFC East? I certainly do, and for two big reasons. Number one, Aaron Rodgers is in town at quarterback, but number two, their defense, which kept them in every game last year and only got better through the draft this year, they can pair those together. They can compete with anyone in the AFC East and the AFC in total. And then for the visiting Chiefs, what a year it was. A third Super Bowl appearance in four years, a second title, and it's definitely the MVP, Patrick Mahomes, that makes it all go. And just watching his development, his maturity over the years as a starting quarterback, we know about the gifts, we know about the talent, but now you add in the mental side of the game, and he controls every aspect for Kansas City. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Wilson going to come out throwing. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw is Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson, 74 yards. And the Jets go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Zerline good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. But the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. On second down, here's Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. A gain there of 21 yards. now on first down. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. They will check this one down to Pacheco. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out. But they'll do so fatigued. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied at seven. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Seven yards on the pickup there and it'll leave it with a second and three. Play action. Now Wilson. Now he's flushed out left. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Facing second and short. That gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why not just handle this one? Get all the yards you needed and then some. And made that snap a huge success. A 
They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wilson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I think thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Here's Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. And he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. Butker on for the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now out come the Jets. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 25, here's a second and eight. Here's Wilson to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here comes third and about a foot. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he'll have a Jets first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. A dependable running back is a coordinator's best friend. Someone you can trust in those situations to push forward and get the yardage you need, however possible. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Wilson. Dancing to his left. 
Loose inside the 30. And he'll even avoid the contact in the end as he will finally slide to a halt. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, I don't want to be a jinx partner and put the whammy on him, but I think we could be looking at all-time damn the ground with the way that he's going. Only a few quarterbacks in this league are capable of a 100-yard game, and he's halfway there just in the first quarter. This is a record-setting pace. Hopefully, he can keep it up, and we can have fun watching it. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Cook up the gut. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Now a second and six. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Michael Dana in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And another long drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked this time protection a lot better had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver for the field goal a 52 yard attempt Zerline's kick is up and through and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14 10 so a good snap good hold and right down the middle never in doubt just the way you used to hit a partner you mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was a nice score. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. On the return, it's Washington. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. First and ten, here's Mahomes. Finding more on the out route for the completion. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Mahomes going to throw. Quick slant caught by Moore. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Some think that teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. They run with the second-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Second down and a yard. From the gun, it's Mahomes to Valdez Scantling over the middle. 
It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. From midfield, here's Mahomes. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. Mahomes now to throw. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. C.J. Mosley gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. And that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The offense for the Jets, ready to take over. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Wilson. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And he'll have a Jets first down as good running gets him to about the 44. The defense was dialed into the pass. They overlooked the draw play. And how often do we talk about the oldies are still goodies? Because that draw play comes straight from Coach Paul Brown's playbook, going all the way back to the original Cleveland Browns. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Wilson. In trouble, and he's taken down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. 
how to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Now it's Wilson. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Ah, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. Now the veteran Thomas Morstead on to put it away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now here's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. To throw, it's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That one caught by Rice. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and a couple. Now Mahomes. And he's got the hook up to Moore. They'll get just a couple, but the sticks move again. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and six. Here's Mahomes to throw. Finding Gray on the out route. 
And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 14. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Open man right side is Rice. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be second in a couple. Back to throw again. And oh, that one incomplete. And after 10 straight completions, he finally misses once. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Butker's kick here is good, and that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Wilson. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. the middle it's Cook a nice little juke seven yards there and a first down I know what you're thinking out there I know a lot of you are thinking take a shot down feel it's a great spot for it I'd say maybe later in the game definitely in the second half but right now I think they were just trying to get some momentum built get a first down pick it up and keep moving They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Miko Hardman, the intended target, but it'll be second down. A give to Cook out of the gun. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Let's 
Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and eight. Throwing is Wilson. A quick throw there is incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Wilson. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Willie Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down, he might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added on to their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. But and we know it. that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. On play action, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as the tackle made up around the 33-yard line. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And again, it's Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have taken a two touchdown lead now. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead now up to 14.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And you see Dalvin Cook and the offense heading back out. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. On first and ten, it's Wilson. He's got a man complete. And they got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big pickup of 38. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Play action. Now Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. First down, here's the run with Cook to the 27-yard line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This is second and eight. Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Now Wilson. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 13-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Wilson to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the four, this is second down and one. Now it's Wilson. This will be incomplete. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. 
Well, the D brought the house, they called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback, overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play? Or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want. They go right to the blitz. And in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback. No chance on that fourth down. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and ten. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. For the start of the third quarter, the Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now a throw here to his running back. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good, solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. On second down, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll get this down inside the 40. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Go, 
They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Mahomes now on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's great. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. From the 24 now, here's second and five. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That is incomplete. I had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen man his passes fall incomplete. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They go play fake. Mahomes. And he is caught. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 12-yard line. The third down conversion is successful. Give them 12 yards that time. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Mahomes to throw once more. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first and goal. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal of the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to them quickly and put the quarterback down. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back great plays defensively. You get the sack on first and goal. A great job in coverage there. All of a sudden, they're looking at third and goal from further back than when they started. And the really good play callers look ahead and down in distance sequence. Now he's got to backtrack a little bit and go maybe off his play sheet to try and dial something up here. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And this is what coaches talk about, never being satisfied. No matter what the lead, always trying to increase it. You never know what can happen in this NFL. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. But once again, here comes Garrett Wilson in the Jets' offense. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Wilson. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. the play fake. Here's Wilson. That's going to be caught downfield by Lazard. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. When we talk all the time about playing situational football right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. Now Wilson. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. They find some open field here. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, yeah, great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Buying time to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Here's second and five now from the 22. To throw is Wilson. Flush to his right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, and Cook will get in. Touchdown, Jets. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Jets get a bit closer. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. KC's offense ready to take over. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Now third down and seven. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. A big play there for KC. 55 yards. Boy, this has just been an offensive clinic. It's seemingly been one big play after another, after another, and add this one on to the list. When you can bite off more than half the field on one play, <laughs> things are definitely working in your favor. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. To throw, it's Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. Here's Pacheco. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco punching it in from a yard away. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, the pass interference called on the previous play, that set him up nicely for that one-yard touchdown run. Yeah, they were able to capitalize from a yard out. Plenty of barking from the sideline about the call, naturally so. But maybe you have to quit barking a little bit and focus on the next play. Their focus wasn't there, and they gave up the touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they can't bring him down. They see Dalvin Cook in the offense heading back out. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen, they see the blocks happen, they feel really good about their vision, and then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. 
Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 21. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. Gets this up across the 20 to the 21 or 22. Did show some power on that run, breaking the tackle. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. From the 22 now, here's the second down and nine. Here's Wilson. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. George Karloftis picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Mahomes to throw on second down. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Mahomes now on first down. A dump down to McKenna. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that'll make it second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 32-yard line. That's the end of the third quarter. With the score, and that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and seven. A give right side for Pacheco. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. It's a gain of two yards, and it's third down. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Mahomes to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he will have a Chiefs first down. He needed five, he got it barely, as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 
That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Finding Gray on the out route. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. A six-yard pickup brings up second and goal. A handoff now for Pacheco. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Jets' offense now works their way back onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. Has a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. On second down, Wilson. And Lazard's got it again. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first and ten, it's Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front that buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Throwing again here, Wilson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. There's Wilson to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 35. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them gets big yardage and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Wilson's throw into the hands here of Hardman. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And a nice gain at 21 yards. 
Now with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late point. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Jets get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. And he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Chiefs offense set to go. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. Go, go. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Out, at the 28-yard line. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and six. Again, it's Pacheco. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now Mahomes. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. But their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit, but as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. And New York set to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt a moment ago, but that's really the first of about eight steps that need to go right for them to get back in this as they start here first and 10. Wilson. And he's taken down a chief sack. Michael Dana getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now it's Wilson. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes, you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. The Jets on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and 19. 
Now it's Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, I get it, Charles. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Down big, they just sent their receivers out, let it fly, but the defense, they were ready. Yeah, and there aren't too many people left in this stadium that couldn't see that coming, but that's not a major criticism at all because you had to try it. What you're hoping for is one of your athletes out-athletes everyone else It makes a dramatic play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Pacheco headed right. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Sauce Gardner, an all-pro as a rookie last year, up to make the tackle. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. On first down, Mahomes forced out to his left. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. And that's the way to find pay dirt, Patrick Mahomes. Hey, you remember some of the scrambles in the playoffs last year while he was playing on a bad wheel? Oftentimes, he was maneuvering just to find a way to throw the football. But last season, four touchdowns on the ground, a career high, continuing to develop as a runner, and often finding the end zone these days. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And New York set to take the field. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Again on second and 10, it's Wilson. That's complete right side to Lazard. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Makes it third and four. Third and four. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Here's Wilson. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Now Wilson, throw right side, going to be caught by Hardman. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And passing yardage wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back, and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. And down inside the 15 he goes. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Wilson will throw again. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Here's second and 10. Wilson. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Wilson. I think this is what this game's become now. You just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. Well, that's the fourth time that they've tried to go for it on fourth down. They've only converted once, Charles. And obviously not a good percentage. And if you're going to go for it on fourth down, do you think that you've got the right play dialed up? You can't be stopped. Your momentum's going to keep going. But one for four? That tells you that you need to look at things in a different way, and you need to tip your cap to the defense. They've done a great job. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The 71 yards on the ground for him so far. second and inches at the 24-yard line. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard.
Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Pacheco. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. A good rip by Pacheco. And you have to go back to 1990 with Johnny Johnson with the Cardinals to find a rookie seventh rounder with more rushing yards than he had last season. The 251st pick out of Rutgers took over to KC backfield with 830 yards in 2022. Here's Pacheco once again. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.